Dave, I'm sure it was a, a late night getting back on, on Tuesday night. Obviously, you've had to do a lot of travelling this week, but with so much on offer on Saturday, everyone must be chomping at the bit for, for tomorrow to come round. Yeah, um, the mood always lightens when you get you get virtually within touching distance. So, yeah, t- listen, Tuesday was a, was a late one. Um, we got back here at half three, so most people will have been bed at sort of half four. And you have to recover quickly. So, in terms of... On pitch tactical stuff, not done a, a huge amount, done a little bit, a little bit today. But as you say, the prize on offer um, outweighs anything that we've had so far this season. So there's a massive motivation to to pick up three points on Saturday, and um, I suppose tick the first box that we we hope to achieve. And we said that when you do factor in the, the amount of travelling that you've had to do in, in the two games, do you do you envisage having to make many changes off the back of that on Saturday? Um, we'll be exactly what, as what we were last last Saturday. I, I mean that in terms of openly speaking to the players and say the team that goes on Saturday will be different to the team that goes on Tuesday. So I spoke about our our intensity and how I want that to want that to look. Um, there will be changes from Tuesday to tomorrow. There will be changes after tomorrow before Tuesday. Um, just to make sure that we're, we're as fresh as we can be and give ourselves the best chance of winning the game in a manner that we think is the best way to go about it. So um, utilisation of our squad um, will be will be important um, and, and without giving the team away, people will see that. There's one point to guarantee promotion, six to win the league. That could even happen tomorrow if, if you win and other results go your way. How motivated is this, is this group now to, to go on and achieve that, not just to win promotion, but to, to go up as champions? Yeah, hugely motivated because um, we're not just the only ones, but we, we've sacrificed an awful lot to get to, to this point and we've worked really, really hard. Um, and I'm not saying that other teams haven't done exactly the same, but we need to worry about worry about us. So the reward at the end of that is, is close. Um, and we want to make sure that we stick true to what the values of this group was at the start of the season and the values of this group at the start of the season was to finish first. So um, we have an opportunity to tomorrow to make sure we finished, finish at least third, which is good enough to, to get promoted. Um, but our main objective then is still in front of us, so we want to do everything we can to go and, go and grab that. I was listening to, to Jed's pre-match yesterday and, and he was talking about how he wanted his team to be able to, to look at Edgeley Park on Saturday, the, the celebrations, and use that as motivation for his team moving, moving forward next season to want to be part of something like that going forward. I just wonder, from your point of view, obviously you had Wembley and, and seeing Kyle R get promoted and also Leighton Orient and, and going there on the day that they lifted the trophy. How much did, did those experiences, I suppose, fuel you going forward this season? Um, I think the... The disappointment of, of Wembley certainly certainly fueled us. Um, Late Norrie a bit different because we obviously went there and, and won three 0 and it was a massive a massive result for us and we got a, a result at the end of the game that went in our favour that gave us something to something to grasp onto in the final game of the season or the final few games of the season. So that was a like I said that was a really a really good day for us. Um, but in terms of in terms of what it looks like. Um, I've been in those situations before uh, around Morecambe coming to our place and I, and I get probably off the pitch and outside of our environment and, and maybe to a certain degree our supporters will expect us just to turn up and roll Morecambe over and they won't have anything to play for and it'll be uh, a comfortable afternoon for us and potentially there is a, a party atmosphere off the pitch but from our side of things, and this is the the, the God's honest truth, there's there's, there's not there's not not more to celebrate by just getting over the line tomorrow. There's 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 more there's more beyond that for us. So tomorrow's a, like I say a big opportunity, and it'll be uh, a big opportunity for us to to get promoted. Absolutely granted. But we want more than that. We want to, we want to get the three points that gives us the chance to go to Notts County on Tuesday and, and win the title. Um, and then if that happens, then yeah, granted, I'm sure there'll be real real celebrations because once we have earned the right to, I suppose, go and lift the trophy, and that's in front of our our own supporters, wherever that might be, then our our major objective will be will be ticked off. But until that happens, 
we, we are where we are where we are. We've got a really really tough game in front of us. Um, I, I, I like I say, I listen to Jed into my shot uh, myself because I, I, know, I know Jed well. Um, having played with him many many years ago, um, and he's done a great job since he's gone in there and, and sort of settled the ship in um, difficult circumstances. Undoubtedly, they'll be f feeling. Um, justifiably disappointed that they've had three points taken off them through absolutely no fault of their own in terms of a, a football football department, football section. Um, and, and that'll sting um, because any or it reduces the chances that they had to potentially go and achieve something. But that, that works both ways. That works. You have that disappointment and, and it can it can motivate you. That's that's down to them. Like I said, we have our, our own motivations around what we wanna what we wanna go and go and do and we've got to make sure I said in the previous two games, we've got to make sure that the objective we wanna to achieve to us is greater than what Morecambe's is to, to them. And if that's the case, then we give ourselves a chance of winning. You only have to go back three or four weeks ago that the promotion race seemed so tight between so many teams that you went into the MK Dons game knowing a defeat would see you drop out of the top three. Uh, fast forward to now to, to be a point away from promotion to be on the verge of the league title. Is it surprising in terms of how, how quickly that's kind of turned around? No, because we've, we, we've stayed pretty, try to say pretty real in, in terms of where things look. We, without sounding boring we had an objective at the start of the season the amount of points that we thought we need to get promoted and um, we've not reached that points total yet and, and and we are promoted so um once that happens we will be able to look and say our planning was pretty good and there are going to be there are going to be ups and ups and downs in terms of results people again and from the outside looking in we'll, we'll say oh we had our our slump our, our slump was was four draws was it and and um a defeat and the narrative is oh you've not not won in five and three weeks later all of a sudden now we've not lost in ten or something whatever whatever it might be so as I said at the time you can play whatever narrative you want from that you can make of it whatever you will our performances weren't weren't different did and should we have won some of them games that that we drew yeah absolutely did we not take our chances yeah absolutely what's changed in the previous uh, or the last four games have we taken our chances yeah have we had a little bit of luck that maybe we didn't have in them games yeah all that will contribute to to winning winning matches we've put in again we've equal the record this year in, in terms of winning 12 consecutive league games so we've shown we can put winning runs together we found a winning run um, on the back of some draws at a really good time when other teams have stumbled, faltered, maybe not had their little bit of luck or not got their just desserts from how they've performed and that ultimately puts us in a great position with our with four games in the season remaining. Has that been the key, you think, that, that ability to, to keep calm and, and keep a level head uh, at that time of the season? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm calm and level-headed at the end of a, a, a 90 minutes when we've not won or when I, I think we should have won and haven't, but you, you quickly come down and reassess where you're at. I'm, I want to win every game. I'm, I'm passionate, I'm emotional about that. Um, sometimes too passionate, shall we say. Um, but you have to move on. And I think what has pleased me over this run is the fact that we've... We've relied on all players, but we've relied on our experienced players to find a way. The group stuck together. Been some really, really difficult away fixtures, um, as well as as well as home fixtures. Like I said, the, the three three away games against the three teams that are at the bottom with their own things to fight for. Um, we've shown different um, personality in those games to, to win them, um, and we've had games at home that have been challenging because, as you say. Externally, people will doubt this group and question this group. Um, but at the moment, they've answered those questions. There are still some questions to be answered and they have the opportunity to once again answer them in the next two weeks. From an injury perspective on, on Saturday, do you, is there anyone you hope to have back? Is there anyone out uh, on the back of Tuesday? Um, no, uh, we're, we're pretty much as we, as we are. Um, the lads that are injured obviously are a few days closer, but not not ready to um, ready to join in. Um, Ibby, who missed Tuesday after after Saturday, it's not too bad, um, and probably better than we'd potentially feared. Um, so again, not not too far away. But 
we, we're going to be again in a, in a strange way. We've got some lads who are out for the, the, the end or out all season, but we're probably going to be our strongest as the season finishes, which is a, a bit of a shame. Um, but it's been testament to <coughs> not only the work that that the lads have done over the course of the season, testament to the backing that we've had to be able to. Um, manage with the injuries we've had this season to still be in the position that we are. I can only um, thank uh, Mark and, and Simon for, I suppose, allowing us to build a squad that has got us into the position we've got in with the, the adversity and the hurdles that have been in front of us. Um, and that's really, really helped us. It's important now that um, we go and finish off. Just on Mark, I think, as you say, there's sympathy with them in terms of the, the points deduction this week, which has, has more or less killed off the, the, the playoff hopes for, for this season. From their point of view, though, coming to Edgeley Park, do you, do you expect almost a maybe a siege mentality off the back of that, an opportunity to spoil the party, as it were? Yeah, you, you can use all them things, can't you? Uh, I think um, you'll always look to a siege mentality. I think you pretty much have a siege mentality from the start of the season, don't you? It, it's really, you're in a, you're in a dressing room, um, be it Monday to Friday or on a Saturday with a group of players that you you want to go to war with and want to win football matches. So that's always the case. If you want to, again, if you want to use that as your narrative to to try and get a bit more out of the players, you can do. Um, like I say, we have our own narrative, our own narrative to write and our own narrative that other people have already written for us. We have to go and perform, do what we've done all season, work our socks off, um, be aggressive, be on the front foot, play with quality, play with control at times, play with tempo um, and, and try and win the game. I, it doesn't matter who you play against, like I say, they will have their own objective. Whether that player's playing for contracts at Morecambe, looking to impress and play elsewhere, looking to get as many points as they can, looking to win the game or score goals to get bonuses, whatever it might be, everyone have their own their own individual uh, slant on things. As a team, as a club, we know where we are, we know what we want to go and achieve and, and that's three points. We've got to make it, or do everything we can to make sure that's the case or we give ourselves the best chance of doing that. Just finally, if you do go on and secure promotion on Saturday, obviously I'm sure the supporters will, will celebrate long into the night. From, from your point of view, how much are you able to celebrate, presumably with, with Tuesday night's game in the back of your mind? No, we I'll celebrate with with a beer and, and or a couple of beers, but that's no different to how I celebrated winning at Sutton last weekend. Um, we'll prepare properly, regardless of what happens. We'll be on Sunday um, and we'll prepare for Notts County on Tuesday. And once that's out of the way, we'll then prepare for Accrington next next Saturday and, and so on. Um, and and that, that won't change. Um, we're, like I say, we're in a good place. It's a strange one because Tuesday almost puts you in a position where we're not promoted but you virtually are um, and it would take a, a ridiculous series of events to prevent that from happening which makes it a bit weird um, strangely um, it's not like release is there yeah done it. yeah and and is that a good thing I think it certainly keeps us in a place where I, I want the the group to be because as I said, we, we, we set out however many months ago, eight months ago, to w with an objective of what last year meant to us and what it felt like in order to go and right them wrongs, if you like, and make sure that this year we didn't have to go through um, that sort of heartache. Now, we've got ourselves in a position where we don't think we'll have to go through that heartache, but there's still a shiny trophy at the end of it that we all want to go and, we want to go and grab. Um, and we've been fortunate enough over the time again to, to win a win a, a champions trophy and win a champions medal and we have an opportunity to do that in, a, in 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 the the football league it will be a first for me um won't be a first for some of the players but for some of it will so why you have that opportunity go and go and grab it and make sure that when we do get the opportunity to celebrate we celebrate properly with um with real meaning i think we'll all join you for a beer when you do appreciate your time dave thank you Cheers, Liam. thank you